Uh, ladies and gentlemen, today's a very special day. Today is Seabass Acts Normal Day. Wow. Good morning, everybody. Yes. Ladies and wow. gentlemen, there is Seabass. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Seabass. Good morning to you. You know what, Woody? I forgot to ask you. How was your weekend? <laughs> Oh, uh, my weekend was great. Thank you. It's really weird. <laughs> what? I don't know if I've ever heard him say that before. How was your Hell weekend? No, he's How never was your... said that before. It's like watching a video of like uh, little kids who hear for the first time. And like... <laughs> Right in the <laughs> it almost brings a tear to my eye. Like emotional. How how was your week? It was fine. Thank you for asking. My uh, Greg, uh, I said I should say great. Uh, how the kids doing? All my my dad, and my stepmom <laughs> flew in. Uh, would you like to hear more? Unfortunately, the Steelers lost. Oh yes, yeah, I hate to bring that up. Rough. But yes, uh, yeah, they lost. But, but then the Penguins won. They beat uh, oh. the Golden Knights, who are a very good team. So that was <laughs> as a Penguin fan. <laughs> this is so weird. What? It's almost ha- it's You're almost hard to have it a weird. Well, Just it's almost hard to, to have a real conversation with the guy. Just have a casual convo. Yeah. Anyway, there is uh Seabass and he has to act normal today. Hello. Uh, so we got the phones <laughs> up at 877-44 Woody. This is our prize, quote unquote. Yeah. Yes, we won this. We won yeah. from uh Woody Show Family Feud. He offered it up. We uh we came through with the victory and now today is the day and uh we asked you guys what kind of things uh, you would like to have us do on this day of Seabass acting normal. So uh, we got some of that. We're going to do a round of what are you happy or thankful for that he'll have to participate in. Also, the Woody Show taste test today with the holidays coming up. I mean, green bean casserole is a staple. A lot of uh, yep. you know Thanksgiving and Christmas and big get-togethers. And Medicine always- never had it until a couple years ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Medicine not had it. And he's Missing so far, out. he's not a fan. He has not been no. converted. I had a liquid version of it last time. Right. Summer. Well, I mean, it, it did was, turn out great. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't it was like, not good. I wouldn't say that's it's the a, worst green bean casserole I've ever had. Really? Easily. I, I wouldn't say it was a good representation. It was but, um, definitely not drained. Like, if you didn't drain the right. beans. That is critical to the making yeah. of Sure. I like my beans drained. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, green bean casserole that uh, Ravy prepared mm-hmm. on the way for Menace today. We'll see uh, how that goes. Some uh, food news. We got the redneck news, playoffs, and. Uh, I want to get right into Seabass Acting Normal Day. One of the things that uh, was requested on the text was having Seabass say something nice and sincere about each person here on The Woody Show. Mm -hmm. So, Seabass, are you prepared? I am prepared. Okay. He knew this was coming. Yeah. Yeah. So he he did have some time to put some uh, some thought into it. Now, uh, this is something that you actually mean. This is not you acting, correct? Like You actually Mm -hmm. had to think about something that you... Real thoughts. Real thoughts. And we'll start Damn. with Menace. A little... Oh, hi. Okay. Thank you. I and feel you, honored. You just sort of hinted at it right there, talking about green bean casserole. Menace, I appreciate your ability and enthusiasm for trying new things and participating in different show topics and subjects. Oh. Thank you, Seabass. <laughs> That's great. That's very nice. Yeah, the Menace, how does that make you feel when he says something like that? It makes me feel good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up. And Greg, I yes. appreciate also that you do participate a lot in uh, with your personal life and Revealing intimacies about yourself and your uh, your partner, uh, soon to be husband, maybe mm-hmm. Mario, mm-hmm. Uh, and I really do think that's a, a valuable contribution. Okay, thank okay. you. Very nice. Appreciate that. <laughs> now, Greg, this is the most tense relationship on the show. Yes, you and really C-Bass. more from like, that, you toward him. That was nice, and I believed it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And believed Ravy, mm-hmm. I do appreciate how you are willing to speak your mind, especially, and I don't say this ironically. As a lady and a lady of a certain age. Yeah. <laughs> and to give a honest and frank perspective to fight against the uh, stereotypes and prejudices that those sort of ladies deal with. Well, thank you, Seabass. Very kind of you. You're quite welcome. Now, does that come across as sincere to you mm. for being honest? Yeah. That one came across because, the least sincere. Because most of her opinions are on Seabass's side, so I'm sure he appreciates uh. it. <laughs> well, he's talking about like how you guys tried to a couple weeks ago mansplain my own experience oh. with aging, and I'm trying well, to tell you. There was no what, mansplaining yes, there. Yes, there was. Greg's like, I don't believe that. You're like, I don't believe that. That's not accurate. <laughs> you don't even know. You're not a woman who's aging. You don't know my experience. We well, about, weren't saying it was your experience. Why are you woman-splaining that? You were. <laughs> I'm woman-splaining yeah. how you yeah. were. I was saying from my perspective, I don't see it. Like I don't. I don't feel like we're there's this whole of, stigma with like right, women and menopause. Right, but I'm trying to tell you it's out there, yeah. and you're shooting me down. And I was 100 percent on your side on that one. Yeah, that's, I'm not saying that's it's why not, your name didn't come up, right, Menace. Thank not you. a thing. <laughs> I believe. I believe my uh, my question on that was. I don't was, question your experience with aging. My question for you was, do you think this is something that women uh, have a heightened sense of, you know, sense, there's a heightened sensitivity to it because they feel a certain way about it? Because 
I, just, I don't know a lot honestly, of... Honestly, your opinion on that, I thought you were just messing around like you were playing devil's advocate no. that how could you go through life no without way, right, knowing exactly. that menopause is looked like, at as a negative ig- thing. Be That's that ignorant to insane. it. Insane. No, I mean, I thought maybe it was like more of an old timey <laughs> thing. Like maybe that was like, a, but I, I don't really well, kind of, in my I'm pers- not, my opinion, I my perspective. I thought you were doing Mike the show killer on no. this. No. I did too. No. I Honestly, thought, I did. I thought no. we were on punk. Yeah. No. I, so Seabass gets it. To the point, I, I went home and I asked my wife about it and she, she didn't see it either. Well, she's not there yet. Almost. Right, that's the thing. Yeah. That's why I haven't said anything because I don't even have the experience yet to know as much as Ravy does. Yeah, well, Ravy's very experienced. You know it. Yeah. Thank All you, right. Seabass. You are welcome. For that callback, too. Yeah. And how <laughs> ignorant these two guys were. Uh, and as much so as... That is, see, that's, that is uh, what's the equivalent of mansplaining? Mm. That is just woman mean. <laughs> because people That's have different mean. experiences, they're right. just they're idiots and morons and right. fools and yes, you're because you don't explaining. have that experience. Thank well, you. You that Thank that you. is so, so irrelevant. You, I have a Shut nice down. thing to say about Woody. Hundred oh, percent irrelevant. On, so that, <laughs> wait, so that but that would also say like you know when um you know because Greg says okay, well just because I don't have kids doesn't mean I can't possibly whatever. Have an opinion and Ravi has agreed with that before. But it wasn't an opinion you guys had. You were just telling me how it was. No, I was. We it's both not out pointed there. out. I'm not seeing it. We it's both pointed out yeah. that. Yeah, right. Again, it we sounds maybe like how about menopause, you, aging. Yes, you and your menopausal brain mm-hmm. took it. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, you took it. That like way. to recap, well, like no. we. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, sorry, you took it that the, way. Check the tapes. I'm, I'm sorry. Otherwise, you took it that why, way. why would Zebas bring it back up again? Yeah. <laughs> so I have a nice thing to say about Woody. It oh, okay. Zebas, thank you for being so patient. As much as much as he is accused of not listening and being mean at times, what few people don't know is that he does put a lot of work and time into this show. And does a lot of things, especially with management, that uh, a lot of people don't want to deal with. But Woody's able to have those conversations and willing to, you know, go out on dinners and have meetings and things like that. A lot of us that really don't want to do, including uh, everyday sea bass. <laughs> Acting normal sea bass would have no problems doing those Every sort of things. Every version of sea bass you have. <laughs> this version would be happy to do that with Woody if he ever asked me to. On this, on this day but only. only this version. Yeah. Only this day of the show. Yeah, only only this day. But Woody does puts a lot of time into that sort of thing, and it's very helpful and uh, for the show in general. Oh, thank you, sea bass. You're welcome. That is so true. Yeah, very nice. it is very true. And now Sammy, uh, she is. Yeah, uh, does a, in a similar vein. Does a lot of that stuff. Does a lot of the administrative things behind the scenes stuff. And uh, does so, uh, as far as I can tell, very well, meaning that uh, nobody else hears about it, which is a good thing. And uh, congratulations. Oh, <laughs> yeah. thank, thank you, Sina. Wow. Yes, oh. I appreciate that. It almost feels like that was the biggest struggle. That uh, one. Well, I've had yeah. less time to observe her. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. That's Great fair. qualities, which I'm sure there now, are Now, talk about perspective, because at one point, CMAS was the executive producer of the show. Right. And then didn't want to do that stuff anymore because he hated it so much. Yes, it's very uh, time consuming, especially when you're doing other things. Right. You know, for sure. For the, sure. The breaking point was, as I recall, normal sea bass was literally changing into a dog costume so we could go get free tacos. Right. 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 Uh-huh. <laughs> and some normal sea bass would say, middle management, R word, who doesn't understand anything, had sent 15 emails about a situation that did not need 15 emails, right. didn't need to be solved that day. He's like, which, which would you want me to do? You want right, me out here right. doing exactly. this? Yeah. Is that what normal CBS did? Now, right. regular CBS would be happy to Aww. do both. Okay. <laughs> uh, that is so nice. Uh, do, you, do you have anything? What about Bort? What can you say about, yeah. uh, oh, about Bort? Because Bort? There, there's been some tension uh, between you two at different, at so different points. So for folks who don't know, Bort, what he does is he manages to get all of, like every promo and like schedule and, and all things we, the weekend shows. Yeah. Like, and it gets not only... For you know the show itself, but to affiliates and things like that. So that's, right. that's kind of his job. Uh, I would say Bort is uh, very very well on time. Never seen him be late mm-hmm. or missing that I'm aware of. So he's very diligent in that respect. Okay. And uh, anything about Morgan? Uh, she <laughs> answers <laughs> phones. <Yeah. laughs> right. And uh, she's very you know she's. Very she, tall. She's tall. She's like 5'10", which is tall for a lady. <laughs> All right. She has long hair. Well, uh-huh. because she, she's had some uh, things that she's brought up or she's done on the show. I didn't, I didn't know if it was no, like- No, her stuff um, on the show's good. Yeah, I think okay. she's much like Menace, uh, and I said this, Normal CBS said this at the time, <laughs> she is female Menace from 10, mm. 15 years ago. <laughs> Say, okay. Came out of the yeah. same world. Both were like, she has a potential, like people say that she's a female version of Seabass. Uh, don't see that yet. She may uh, one day develop into that. But she has, I think she's more uh, energy and willingness, which is a good thing to have. Okay. Skills, that'll be developed over time, hopefully. All right. Well, look, look we're off to a good start here with uh, CBS Acting so. Normal. I, so. I hope it was sincere. It sounded. Thank yeah. you. And it is.
Well, I mean, he does take a lot of uh, classes for, you know, like improv and acting and things like that. So That's what Menace says, that I can turn it on. Uh, yeah, so yeah, he can. <laughs> yeah, we've yeah, seen it a hundred times. Yeah, I mean, yeah. look at Greg. He's turned on. And he turns Menace on. <laughs> <laughs>